Hi, I'm David Gonzalez, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you uh, Mystica VR compatibility with PT GUI, as well as some uh, manual ways to improve your stitching. As you can see, I'm here where we left on the previous tutorial. I'm just gonna load another shot to my timeline uh, by again bringing up the Windows Media Browser and dragging the clips to the interface. If I drag them into the main view I will add these cameras to the current stack. If I want to create a new, a new stack, a new shot, I just need to drag them on the storyboard and that will create a new shot. Um, from this point these cameras are already in sync as it was shot that way uh, and what I'm gonna do now is send reference frames for PT GUI to stitch with. So I'm gonna find a good reference frame, maybe there, and click on stitch. Use PTGUI to calculate the initial stitch. As soon as I click continue, PTGUI will run with the images already loaded and I just need to set all the settings. I've already uh, stitched this on PTGUI so I'm just gonna cancel it. You will need just to save the project and on the same folder we have the PTS project that I've already created and by dragging on top of my stack it will import the stitch. As soon as I remove the mosaic mode the stitch is already imported. Um, now we can continue with improving our stitch. As always I'm gonna remove the overlays to see the differences between cameras and start by color matching. I will set up the gamma curve as GoPro protein flat and match the color. Okay, I can go into the VR view mode and review my stitch. There is a slight difference there, but what I also notice is that one of the cameras is completely blurred. That was a problem when shooting. So I can just activate the overlay again, select the camera that is blurred, which is camera 4, and disable it. Uh, in this case the rig has enough overlap so that I can skip one camera and still have a, a, a stitch, um, which saves this situation. Um, the next uh, thing that we can try to fix is that we still uh, have some color mismatches in here. So I'm gonna select a camera 2 and bring the exposure down a bit until it matches. That, that looks better. But now the overall frame looks dark, so I'm gonna do the opposite on the output camera and just bring everything a bit brighter. Always keeping in mind that I don't want to clip any of the information on the sky so that it can be uh, graded afterwards. Once again we will just need to set an in and an out point and send it to render in the format that we want, maybe an mp4 in this case at high quality uh, and I don't want to send any audio. I hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching.